to start recording. Uh, invite to lobby. So basically what I'm having to do now is to go onto the Steam chat. As you can see from here, this is, uh, my chat with Mr. Bellamy. Uh, I have to invite him from here because if you try to do it from here, you can do it from add a player, send invite, nothing happens. So I don't really know what's happening. Either this is broken or what, I don't know. But we'll try. This is the only way it works. Invite to lobby. So I've invited Mr. Bellamy. So he's still on the phone, so hopefully he can get to the lobby. Let's see if I can voice chat with him. Okay, well, I hope everybody's doing well and keeping safe. While we look at this, this is Lobster Bay Golf Club by Steeler Rain 69. Let's see how this is going. Got the course details. So this is the course details. It's had four likes. Fairways are soft, greens are firm, green speed is 7.4, so it's medium fast. Others are overcast and it's dawn. Uh, 7,233 yards, 18 holes, 72. We are playing off the blue tees and pin set three. So let me just check the course leaderboards. The best one has been minus 10. Minus 10, minus 11. Looks like the best. Oh, minus 15. We've got minus 15 here. Okay, let's just go back. Fairly conversions. Fairly high. I haven't played this before. So I'm still here waiting for Mr. Bellamy. I'm going to put this on hold while I do this. So I'll catch you when he, he, he's on. And I'll start a voice chat with him as well once we've done. Okay, see you when he comes back. Um, I may be able to start doing some live streaming. I'm not sure yet. I'm just testing a few things. Is that that would be okay. quite good or be interesting? I can actually do some live streaming. Uh, now it looks like this is a course designed by a 51 year old. You reckon? Well, if it says Steeler, he looks like a Pittsburgh Steeler football fan. He does. 60, and if it 69. says 69, that's probably the year he was born. Possibly. Either that or he likes that position. Yeah. He probably likes the <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers then. Um, okay. With yes. blue three. Here we go. Let's just uh, ready. And we'll start. How's, how's things with you? Are you keeping well? Uh, I'm doing well. We obviously we have. I have the day off tomorrow, and then three days away is Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping my son will drive over on Christmas Day with <laughs> his uh, uh, Christmas gift that his grandfather's given him the 1995 oh, really Ford truck. So, and then uh, I picked up a couple free games off of Epic Games. My okay. friend talked me into joining Epic Games, so I yep. got uh, the Long Dark and Bus Simulator 18. Okay. And the bus simulator is based over in the UK, so I'll have to get used to driving over in that area. Driving on the proper side of the road. The I don't left. know if it's on the right side or not. I, I just was interested in having fun with the game. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is a pretty looking course. Uh, 
I'll give him that. So let me just check what it's like. Yeah, it looks like. Has, uh, has Jerry uh, played your course yet? No, I haven't. I have looked, but I haven't seen him do anything yet. So it'd be interesting to see. Uh, but he hasn't yet. So this is a very different looking course anyway. He's got some uh, funny, fe not funny features, but uh, unique features on this one, especially with this split fairway. As you can see, it's got a nice waterfall on the left hand side. I've been, uh, I got really fast on that one. I've been yeah. hunting all day. Yeah, how's that going anyway? Uh, <laughs> well, on Hunter Call of the Wild, it's fine, but I looked at the update the other day for Hunting Simulator 2, and I didn't care for the update, and I mentioned something, Yeah. and I got banned from Steam. What? Yeah, from their uh, community for Hunting Simulator 2. Well, for... All I did was leave... Yeah, I just I didn't cuss or anything. I just left a negative review, and they uh, complained is... to Steam, and so, so they banned me for a month from saying anything about their game. So of course, I made a couple videos on my own on YouTube. That and is... The one video has almost three hundred and fifty views. Yeah, that is really sad that uh, developers are doing that now. It's almost like oh, a I challenge. Yeah, I challenged the developer. It's like you refund me for the game. Yeah. You know, credit me on Steam for a certain amount of money. I said, I'll take down my videos. <laughs> uh, and I said, look, I have a right as a consumer yep. to review it. You know, if I have paid for, right, if I paid for this game and don't care for it on the update, then I exactly. have a right to say something. Exactly. That's the, that's the so, thing, of, thing about it. There's a, another YouTube channel um, presenter that I must, I'm starting to look at, which is really good because he's He's like Mac, but he's more, he gets into the gaming aspect of it, gets gets into the politics of it, really. And he's, he's very good. I forget, what's, what was his YouTube channel? Because you might find it interesting as well. He's an English guy. Um, yeah, because find... you know how I always speak my mind. <laughs> yeah, this guy speaks his mind as well. Um, <laughs> let me uh, see if I can remember what he, his... He had a good looking Angles. opening hole here. I, I think yeah. he did a good job on this opening hole. I reckon hole. he did, yeah, because it's gone back. Right, the guy's name is Jim Sterling. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Jim Sterling, S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G. I'm finding his uh, okay, reviews kind of... and his, yeah. He's, he's got a thing called <laughs> the Jim Quisition, Quisition. So. Ah, I like that. Yeah, it's he's he he says it as it is with um, these so-called AAA games and all that sort of stuff and how they're v basically fleecing fleecing everybody. <laughs> so it's it's it makes worthwhile uh, not reading but uh, looking at. But yeah. Well, I know uh, Epic Games is giving a free game away every day until the end of the year. Oh, That's a they? pretty good deal. You have to be a, a member. I've got a membership for Epic, so... Yeah. Today was some kind of a strategic game, uh, something defense that it didn't strike... It looked like something you would like, but not me. Total defense. Yeah, or something defense or something like that, something strategic. You're better at that than I am. Okay. I'll have to have a look at that. I'll look on the Epic forums or Epic site. Okay. So this is number two hole. Okay. Yeah, I like the again. I like the look of it so far. I like yeah, the colors. Yeah, the layout is very good. It's... Yeah, I've been wondering how you've been doing this week, and I've been. Doing... I saw your driving uh, driving home video. I watched yeah. that. Yeah. I, mean, the... I was joking with Voodoo the other day. He had a live stream, and I said, "I hope Ninja never makes me mad because I." And almost pinpoint where you live now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good laugh at that. Yeah. This uh, this is getting slow down. I just wish uh, Voodoo could go on PC where I could. Oh wow, nice. That was close. I, I could almost. talk to him uh, yeah. instead of typing all the time because well, I'm yeah. trying to give my hands and arms a rest. I mean, this is the good thing about this chat facility in Steam. 
that you can actually do this. Um, I'm surprised they haven't incorporated it in uh, PGA 21, uh, 2K21. So I don't think there is a, a chat function, is there? The multiplayer. Yeah, uh, I was watching over here in America, uh, Tiger Woods and his son playing did on the, the same team today. Did you see the eagle he did? His son did. Oh, his son is good. Yeah, he is very good. He's very reminiscent of young Tiger. It's kind of hard to watch because I didn't get that opportunity with my son because I'm divorced. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, it, It's kind of hard to watch, but I'm very happy for Tiger. Yeah. We all make mistakes. We all make bad choices at times. Yep, that's and, true. Uh, <clears throat> they showed a picture of his uh, ex-wife standing mm -hmm. on the sideline watching. I thought that was kind of, uh, you know, I mean, I'm glad that she was there watching her son. Yeah, but it's a bit, it's it's a bit, yeah, weird, basically. Yeah. But do, do you ever listen to a uh, Bill Burr, the comedian? I don't know who that is. You don't know who Bill Burr is. No, he's a he's a comedian. Should I know who he is? He's American. He's a comedian. He's 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 like uh, friends with Joe Rogan and all that sort of stuff. I I don't even know who he is. Look him up. He's on YouTube. It's a Bill Burr experience. He's like he does his Monday podcasts and stuff. He rants and raves. He's he's funny, but uh, it he um he has a peculiar sense of humor. So if you're not if you, if you're not used to that kind of sense of humor, you might find him offensive because he's offended a lot of people before in the past because he tells it as it is. <laughs> now, that's something I've never done is offend anybody on my channel. No, exactly. Channel. <laughs> you're, you're, you're over... <laughs> I would probably have 250 subscribers. Yeah. Uh, well, but... Yeah, and the other day I'm watching some lady uh, who was reviewing Paul McCartney's new album, and she said one of the songs had terrible lyrics. Yeah. And I said, uh, watching your channel reminds me of the movie Misery because the woman looks just like Kathy Bates from the old Stephen King movie Misery. Yeah, yeah. And man, that. she went off on me, you oh, know. <laughs> and then her wife jumps in. Yeah. And she goes, my wife can have any opinion she wants. And I, so I responded back saying, oh, so she can have an opinion about Paul, but, but I cannot can't. have an opinion about her channel. Yeah. And she got so mad, you know? Never, uh, yeah. And uh no yeah, comment. I have fun with people like that. <laughs> they they just they just they just take the bait all the time, that's the problem. Oh yeah. They're easy to bait. I mean not that you should but she be did. doing that. You know, she did. She looked just like Kathy Bates and yeah. I wasn't really trying to be insulting, but man, she just went off on me. Oh she, she <laughs> she has some uh, issues with that then. Maybe she was yeah. teased about it when she was uh, slightly younger or in her later yeah. life. I don't know. She looks like Kathy Bates and Rosie O'Donnell together. Okay. I'm not sure if that's yeah. a good combination or what. Oh, that's not a good combination. Well, oh, that, go. I got a good role there. You got a good... Yeah. This is downhill anyways, playing downhill. So let me just see where this goes. You're playing this... really well today. It's about time. No, I just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> Uh, let me just check where are we going. Let me see if I clear this. This is a five wood. Is this going to clear the sand? Oh, I'm actually going forward a little bit, not to worry. But I think he's done a good job so far. Oh, this is an excellent course. I, I'm enjoying it. Nothing but positives at the moment, so, you know. Yeah, I found this uh, course on that great uh, website called TGC Tours. <laughs> that one, what, what did they do? Because I don't know what they do. <laughs> it is so good talking with you, I'm telling you. It's, I was looking forward to being able to speak with you this week. Oh, God, I missed it. And oh, it's great too shot. Far. Man. Gone too far. <clears throat> You just keep playing like that, my friend. Let's see where this goes. I'll, I'll consider it a miss. Christmas gift. Well, it's still Santa you're playing against, so he might be giving you prezzies. So. Are you on par, sir? Am I on par or am I on bogey? Oh, 
Paul, did you see that move to the left? No, that's, that's your I fault. I cannot believe that. <laughs> wow. What was that? I don't know. It's, uh, I mean, that shot out to the left as soon as I hit it. It's got that was not right. There was this slight movement by the T by the looks of things anyway when I looked wow. at it last time. There's slight movement. Yeah, there is movement here on the on this actual T. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's why. That's even. Okay. I think this is, yeah, this is, a, this is for Voodoo. This is we're playing on blue T, um, pin set three. Uh, I know Bo Voodoo always asks what pin sets we play under. Yeah, we need to give a big shout out to Voodoo. He's been playing a lot of the Hitman game. He, he has, yeah. What's this one? This is, this is a par four. Par four. This could have been a par three, really. Mm. So Steam starts their big sale, I think, on Tuesday. Yeah. And then uh, CD Keys, I think, the day before Christmas. Yeah. They start their sale. There's really not much out there that I'm really well, looking at right now. I I bought something today really cheap on Steam. Um, what was it? Uh, what was the game called? Let me just. I can never remember what that. But it's it's some it's some. Uh, it's not. It's a Dark Souls sort of game thing. So it's like third per third person, um, slash and hash. Oh, that went way past. Yep. So. Uh, now on, I think Assassin's Creed Odyssey is only seventeen ninety nine on Epic Games. Yeah, and then they have a ten dollar off coupon. That's okay. You should buy it. So I'm thinking about. You think I should get that? I think you should get it. It's 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 a fun game, but there's a lot of grinding to it. That's the problem. The only oh. problem. But it's a lot better. The actual gameplay mechanics and everything is really quite good. Very good. It's Come better. On, it's better than. Um, than Origin. Yeah. Origins, I had to get a refund on Steam because the game yeah. was locking up. No, this one's a lot... I think this is a lot more stable because I've had no problems with with Odyssey at all, playing Odyssey. Man. Um, I'm rusty. I haven't play. played golf in a week and a half. Yeah. You better take advantage. Oh, well, Santa Claus. We'll see what happens. Ah, oh, goodness me. <laughs> I love it. Goodness me. Okay, here we go. And that's going to go to the right. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of movement on the greens anyway. There yeah. is a lot of movement on this. I mean, this is a this is the third pin we're playing, so yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting into any more pin co or conversations. There's, there's, yeah. There's a... Uh, <laughs> That's interesting, those um, pin placements anyway, so. Uh, I barely made that one. You should there. What are you, plus one? What am I on? I'll catch oh, up. I'll I'm just trying to two. give you a, a feeling of confidence. Yeah. And boost your game. Excellent. Yep. I'll boost it so <laughs> much, I'll beat you by about ten. <laughs> oh, game Here we on, go. Santa. We'll go. We'll see what happens. It's a hybrid. Let's pull this back a little bit. Ooh, that's too fast. I love it, though. That's It'll too... bounce to the right for you. No, it's that's not going to do it. That's all right. It's oh. on the fringe. We're on the fringe. Lunatic fringe. So we're fine. So it's a fifth hole, another par three. You've gone right. Way too much. I forgot to check out the green speed on here. 7.4 or something like that, I think. That's medium fast. I never heard it like 7.4. That's weird. Yeah, it's medium fast. I think it's a 7.4. That's what it said. Oh, I, oh, uh, okay. 
I'm thinking about the like you know 144 or look at that. Look at you go, Santa. Look at that chip. Put that finger I'm, down. Come I'm gonna now. have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to capture that on video. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to beat me by 10, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm minus three now. We're on the toll. Okay. Is that going? Oh, oh you missed it. No. If I do have any sort of a critique to, do, to say about this course, it's the bunkers. That's the only thing I can... I would have liked to see them a little bit more deeper, especially by the okay. by the greens. The bunker greens should be a lot deeper and a lot more challenging. Is there anything I can see? I mean, these bunk hmm, fairway bunkers or approach bunkers are not they're not very deep. Is there anything I've noticed? But then I. I, I like, and here, here you guys, like just to prove a point, I've gone into <laughs> one of them. Yeah. Now, do you guys get snow over in uh, your area? We haven't had snow here for about, for Christmas for over five years now. The last snow was about five years ago. Yeah, New York had 40 inches, but then Japan had two and a half meters yesterday. Goodness me. That berries. Two that and a berries. half meters. Goodness me. That's almost too deep for Godzilla. Yeah. That is a that is a lot of snow. But Japan is the the thing I find about Japan is their weather is so strange because it you know, in the summer it's really hot and then in the winter or in that sort of climate it's, they they have thick snow and everything. So they have they have a uh a wide variety of weather over they have the they have both extremes speaking of extremes this is going to be very difficult to hit this yeah there's trees in the way well i'm talking the uh elevation of the green oh that yeah oh look at that. Down. it's joining me i didn't put any elevation on there okay that's joining me that was yep yeah. got to keep you from being uh, 10 strokes behind your I mean ahead you're already four. Oh goodness Ooh, what was I that? Like that I like that I thought that was going in yeah these are fast now here screens. you got to be careful because if I go past it's yep. going to go down the hill yeah that's going let's track oh, I'm fine I'm fine I, I just didn't want it going down the hill two putted it okay I have no problem. That's all right. It made par. If you're going in the right direction or staying, not going in the wrong direction. <clears throat> what are we on now? Still three. So what's the weather over there like now at the moment? Is oh, it... it's uh, it's probably about 15 degrees warmer than it normally is this time of year, and they're not predicting any snow in Missouri until next year. Oh, okay. So you're not going to have a white Christmas. I don't mind Christmas. that at all because I don't, you know, mm -hmm. I don't mind driving in snow. It's just the other people around mm -hmm. me driving. Mad drivers. And man, yep. my car's been running. Uh, this past Monday, I had to decarbonize the okay. engine. Right. And that, oh, it's running like a brand new. Yeah, uh, they would do. Because the mechanic showed me the uh, all the carbon buildup. And yep. It was bad. Yeah. And man, that thing runs. I mean, it just purrs like a kitten. That's great. I like that. Do you ever add that kind of. Um fuel cleaner at all to your car because in in england we have this it's, it's called uh it's, i think it's called red x or something like that where you put especially for diesel cars where it helps to when you put uh, diesel in you put this mixture in as well and it just helps to clean keep the engine clean 
Yeah, we have a uh, it's uh, it's called Chevron over here, and it's right. a uh, complete fuel. And, oh, okay. Um, I started putting that in like uh, once, maybe once a month. Yeah. Uh, and it's like only four U.S. dollars over here. Yeah. So that's not too bad. No, it's good because I I did ask one of the mechanics, um, mechanic who's like a family friend, about that sort of stuff, and he said, yeah, they're very good as long as you make Mondays. sure. Um, he said, it's gone fast again. All right. Right, what have we got here? Come on, Santa. Let's see what happens. Oh, no, that's not going to be... Ah, goodness me. Oh, I love it. I love it. Keep going. That's, keep going. That's keep going, going off. Yeah. That's going off. Oh, that's a Ninja Prime green, then. That is. It looks that way. <laughs> you you just take all the swings you need. In fact, let me just... Try that. And again, I missed. I don't mind. It's your, your go, anyway. Your go. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ooh, a lot of movement here. Wow. Needs a fast green. That's going to be nowhere near. Ah! Oh, look at that. Oh, man, come on, stop. That's going. It's going and going. And I'm staring at it with yep. my head down. I definitely am not a fan of his uh, elevation on the well, on the greens or on. Yep. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. They are a bit. Um, I would say his so far his greens or and or his approach to uh, on the fairways and stuff on here his. Uh, the way he's made it, it's, it's, there is a almost – I don't think he's, a, he's going for – oh, goodness me. He's going for a real, more realistic – there's more of a fantasy element to this. I agree. Anything. This is really bad. Bogey, what's going on? Oh, I hope you missed this one because that would really help my case. Come on, Santa. Ah. Oh. That's all right. Minus two. You didn't read hand. my. You didn't read my wish list. No, that's because you've been naughty. You're <laughs> off the wish list. You're off. Yeah, I've been too mean on YouTube. I was watching. Um, oh, what was it? Have you ever seen the Christmas Chronicles? I know it's a kiddies uh, movie with uh, no. Kurt Russell in it. And you know Kurt nope. Russell. Kurt Russell does um, Elvis impressions. He's really yes. good at it. He, he has a. He does a an Elvis stint here with Santa Claus in, in the jail, and it's really good. I, I found it really amusing. Do you ever get a chance to watch it? I this? remember uh, seeing him on uh, Gilligan's Island Yeah. as a kid. Yeah. He was uh, like some lost kid. Yeah. Bunker time. Yeah. I was in between clubs and didn't know what to do. <laughs> That's my excuse. Like I always said to you, just go up a club and then dial it down. That's the best you can do. Now this, if I hit it there, in fact, I'm going to play safe. Now you're only uh, three strokes ahead, so you got uh, a lot of work to do. Let's see where this goes. So I wanted to. Nice. I wanted to miss. Oh, it's bounced the wrong way. Got a long putt ahead of you. Yep. I wanted to avoid that bunker that you're in, but that's going to go to the left. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I just feel his bunkers are, especially his um, greenside bunkers aren't, to me personally, they're not deep enough. I'd like them a little deeper than that. Turn. Uh, it's not turning. I guess we're going to have to get a heated discussion going on on my channel about how deep a bunker should be. True. You know what? When I, um, I was surprised because what happened? Oh! 
because I play sev- I've played several um, courses here in England. And then when I went to South Carolina to play one of the um, one of the golf courses there, <laughs> I was surprised how I've said this before in one of my videos in my YouTube videos. I was surprised how deep the bunkers actually were in America. And when I asked the guy I was playing, it was you know. He said that's that's normal for the bunkers to be that deep. I was it, it, it just blew me away. That's why I started making uh, bunkers after I came back from the states. They're a lot more deeper than they were. Yep. So it's, yeah, it was it was really different to to what I was used to. I think they were like some of some of the bunkers were like. Um, They were over six feet deep, some of them, because the lips, I could remember some of the lips, I I could not see over the lip. I mean, I'm not a very tall person. I mean, I'm what, five foot eight. But it, for me, that was, they were really, they were very deep bunkers. The first time I'd seen deep bunkers like that. Yeah, was, I'm only five foot ten. Yeah. I'm not tall at all. <clears throat> Oh no! I mean, I like this split fairway because uh, he gives you the option to uh, to hit the left hand side, which gives you a better a better view of the actual pin from there. Oh, you're. I see what you're talking yeah? about. Yeah, if you look at it, I I went a bit too far with my one. I'm going to be too far to the unless I get a kick to the left. No, you're okay. Here we go. I need this to roll left. Yeah, because you're behind those trees. Here we go. <clears throat> Where I, I heard am. the uh, game uh, Cyberpunk had a lot of uh, crashing is- issues. No, uh, that was, um, let's just say. It's... There was a lot of talk on the uh, internet about that. There's a. It... They said it wasn't really finished, and, and and I think the developers were under pressure by their um, oh to get it out before to Christmas, get it out. Right. Yeah, that's that's part of it. Because a lot there was a lot of people saying, and, one, and especially this, this other guy that was that I just told you about, he was saying they should have waited another three years to release it because it's so buggy. And on his channel, he had he showed you all the some of the bugs he came across, and a lot of them were really funny bugs. It's just like people walking into cars and going walking straight through them, and things like that. Wow. It's it, for a tri- like I said for a triple A game. You can't. That, I don't see how that's acceptable, especially if you you're supposed to be paying. I mean, in pounds over, f- literally fifty pounds for a game, and it's that buggy. That's ridiculous. Oh look at that was a good approach shot. Oh, oh it's wow. rolling off. It's going <laughs> off. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, he must have been take. He must have taken a a leaf out of my book on this. So, right. did you uh, get your uh, PC rebuilt? No, it's it's still it's still made out of bits and old old bits and pieces. I've sort of managed to scrape together. Um, so, yeah, I have a friend who's getting ready to get the uh, thirty series card. So yeah. he's got an old PC with yep. a twenty seventy. I have a 1060, so I'm going to buy his old PC. Okay, cool. That should be good. You'll see, you'll notice oh, the difference. Roll. You'll notice the difference as well with a better graphics go. card. Well, the thing is, with my with the machine I've currently got here, I know the, the motherboard is, is a few years old. It's still Gosh. good. It's still good, but it's got it's got a good processor in it. Uh-huh. It's, it's an i7, and it's running at 3.6 gigahertz. So I mean, it's it's okay. It does what what I need it to do, and I possibly just need to upgrade the the power supply and the uh, to get a, bra- a a better graphics card because I'm still hanging out for a, a 3080 or a 3070. Yeah, he still, he barely got two of the 3070s in the mm-hmm. other day for a couple of his customers. Yeah. Uh, but all these uh, robots keep buying them. Yeah, they do. He's just waiting on a processor, but the processor he wants may not be ready until March. 
at the earliest. Was he after? You know. Uh, I forgot which processor it is. It's is it top AMD? Of the line, so is it AMD? It may be. Yeah, I'm not for sure. I so I don't know. You know, like I said. Yeah, because at the moment it's the the Ryzen's, the AMDs are the ones that are knocking it out of the ballpark. Basically, if um, Intel are struggling to keep up with them. That was a nice golf shot right there. Wow. That was awesome. You're about eight feet away. Yep. Mind you, it's a par three, so hopefully I can get birdie out. Of this oh, this one. is a par three. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's quite a long par three. I don't, man, I don't want to go past. And it's that was down, not good. Yeah, and it's downhill as well. If you get a bounce to the right, is it bouncing? Yeah, there you go. You got a bounce to the right. Oh, come on, grab it. That's not too bad. That's all it's right. going to keep rolling, though. It's, it's going to go down go this off. hill. Yeah. That's all right. It's cool. Every time I uh, see this water now, I want to go fishing again <laughs> on these golf courses. Fishing courses. Now, this is where I always find it difficult to judge. Oh, oh nice. Good. That's you're that one yeah, in. you're cleaning my clock today. I'm squeezing you're that You're doing one really in. well. <clears throat> Okay. Right. What are we on now? We are on 11th. Okay. And this time the course actually started on hole number one. Yeah, that was me. I just um, I double checked my settings, and my setting had been for uh, the back nine for some reason. Right, let me just. Uh oh, that's going to go into the sand. Yeah, my dog, uh, there's, I got a big front porch and there's some animal that's hibernating underneath the front porch. What, you so get my raccoons? dog goes and I don't know what animal it is and I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but she'll go and bark at it all the time. So this is not a this bear. This is yeah. an odd. Yeah. It's an elevated green an as odd. well. Yeah. Wow. It's, okay. It's split and elevated. It's like I said, this is more fantasy. Uh, it's a very fantasy-ish fantasy course. Okay. Life is such a fantasy. Yeah. Little Aldo Nova. The one hit wonder. They're usually the best ones. <laughs> yep. Like, come on, Eileen from yeah. <laughs> Dexy's Midnight Runners. Yep. I remember and then you them. never heard from them again. They did do another one, didn't they? They did. I'm sure they did a couple more because I remember seeing them doing other songs. But, um, I do not went... remember here in America they had anything else. They may yeah. have. I just don't remember. Because they're a British band. I think they may have. It was more popular here in England. Oh, what's this? Is it going come on, in? Come on. Is it going in? Oh, that's, that's cool. Good. If I don't get a birdie here, I need to be slapped. Right. Here we go. Let's see what happens with this. The bunker's a tad bit deeper. They are a little bit, but they're still. I see what you mean, though, but I wonder if they would have looked out of place if they were any deeper. I don't know. Oh, you got a lot of help from that tree. I know. That's what I was aiming for, because I wanted it to slow down. Right, let me see. I do like the lighting on the course. I do like that, and I think as far as the planting, yeah. the trees, I think, look okay. Now, that bunker behind you looks okay. It looks a little deeper. Yeah. I mean, this is set at dawn, I think. The 
when I looked at when I checked the um the course um spec on this one. Oh, oh. come on. Wow. I missed out on a birdie. Yeah. I just Oh well. You certainly did. What am I doing? I'm on par. Okay. Yeah, his uh pin position here is very I wouldn't say questionable, but very challenging. Yeah, I mean, this is pin set three, so gather with that, gather from that what you what you will, especially with all these pin uh, placement uh, uh. stuff. So anything anything goes now, as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, that's a slow one. Hang on. I did not want to be there. I wanted to be more on the left. So I want to be more where you are now. What I was aiming for. I, 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 I want you to be where I am too, Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> It's that time of year. Right, I think the uh, U.S. is getting ready to pass the second stimulus uh, bill. What's that supposed to be? Well, the first time back in March, they sent everybody who made under a, like 100000 a $1,200 check. Okay. And then this time it's supposed to be per individual, like six hundred dollars per adult and three hundred per child. Right. And then they're supposed to extend the unemployment benefits. So, fortunately, I'm still working. So, okay. Have you I'm received one up there now? Have you received any payments? It's um, help at all or no? Oh, well, the one $1,200 check I got in March, I really didn't need it because I was employed, but I yep. just put it on the house. Right, cool. It went directly to the house payment. It's lucky they're not asking for it back. Oh, this is Ooh, a long eagle. One here. You got an eagle. You got an eagle opportunity. Going to miss it to the right. Yep. Yep. That's okay. I'll take the uh, birdie. birdie. You should get a birdie from this. The slight movement. Okay. Yeah, you're really playing well today. That's four under. It's okay. You You've clawed back one, so you're okay. Yeah, I was very pleased, though, with the new uh, McCartney album for being 78 years old. Uh, uh, man, it, it is really good. Yeah. So I'm I was very happy about that. I'll tell you who I was surprised to hear again was um, Sir Cliff Richards released another song. Yeah, he was at one time the only artist to have a uh, top 40 song here in America in five decades, like yeah. the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. But uh, I, he had a song called Dreaming that I liked. Yeah. And then I think he did a duet with Olivia Newton-John. Yes. That was a while back. Long time ago, yep. Long, long time ago. It's funny with all these reaction people <laughs> on uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's got a, a reaction video channel now. Yeah, I know. It's, um, but it's like the in thing right now. It's what people like to see. It's, it's, it's just a case of getting there while you Oh, yeah. Can. They want to see like a younger person in their 20s mm -hmm. looking at something from the 70s or 80s. That's the thing. I don't think I could I could sit there and do a reaction video because my face would just be blank. I'd just be I don't really react that well to anything. 
Well, well, this one guy, uh, he's called the Canadian Stud Muffin. He was listening to the new Lou Reed album. Yeah. And so he's sitting there with headphones on. And you're just sitting there, and he, that's all it is, is watching him sit there listening. To, and I'm like, how dumb is this, you know? <laughs> was he getting a lot of views? It wasn't even, it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he's a pretty popular guy. Oh, but okay. It was just weird. It's like, just listen to a little snippet of it. Talk about it, maybe. Yeah. But it, it was just him sitting there with his headphones on. Oh, that's going to roll back down. This yeah. guy's his elevation here. If you're not perfect on this pin set, look yeah. at this. That is um, you're you're gonna pay for it. See, I don't like the fact too much of with his with his greens that his greens are actually um come off into the fairway like that. I'd I'd rather see it was slightly flatter. Um yeah. and if you miss the green then then I don't mind it if it rolls off the, the fairway, so to speak. But yeah, this is I thought my greens were were wild, but this is all out. Yeah. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we can do here. There you go. Oh, that one misses. Man, I'm telling you, I. I, like I said, I just don't have the interest anymore as much. Yeah. I know that's kind of an excuse, but I just don't play enough anymore. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with this game. It's once you get you, it's it's practice. It's like I told Smudge, just practice, practice. Best way to do it, like in most things, if you practice enough. Yeah. So it becomes second nature virtually. Like in the Hunter Call of the Wild, there's 60 levels, and I finally reached level 30 today. Wow, that's good. It's a bit of a milestone. Oh, it was. Is that a bit of a grind, that game, or is that... It, um... it, it, it can be a, a really uh, big grind if, you're, if you don't know what you're doing. And, right. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a hunter, so... That's a bit... <sighs> The thing I've noticed about this guy, the, the way he's done his fairways and courses, is there's a lot of um, elevation here. He's done quite a few of these um, fairways where it's elevated quite a, quite a bit, which which is fine. But I'm, I'm going to have to revisit this and see how many actual fairways he's got that's that's like this, that's quite elevated like this. Yeah. To me, this seems like there's there's too many. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I don't know if you know what I mean. It's just that... Yeah, I, yep. Yeah, you're now six strokes ahead, so you might reach that ten stroke that you're talking about. But this is a punishing course. Again, if you don't hit it mm. in the sweet spot, you're going to pay. Yep. I mean, the winds aren't too, too thin. They're about, what, one mile an hour wind at the moment? Yeah, even here. See, I yeah. can't reach that ridge. Yeah. I, I, that, I don't like this. Yeah. His greens this are is, too slope. Oh, that, that's horrible. That's, Come that is, on. Yeah. You know? Because for me, I, I know my greens are quite um, challenging to get to, but I don't have my greens sloping into the fairway that much. Not like that anyway. Yeah. That's one of the only criticisms I have about this. Let me just see what this does. Because again, you got to be right on the doorstep. You're fine there. Yeah, but that's going to go off because I haven't put. That's going to go right off. There you go. It's gone off the other wow. side. Wow. Okay, here we are. Twenty-two. Dang, what is the deal? That's gone right off the other I side. I barely hit that. 
That's one thing I've noticed about this game, especially with um, elevated greens, oh is that God. normally I you're even supposed put loft, to... I even put loft on yeah. that. You one know, thing or... Yeah, one thing I've noticed with this, normally you, you, would, you tend to club down either one or two clubs, but in this one you don't have... It's, it's, yeah, it's really weird. Strange. Is that going to stop? Yep. You got lucky there. I know. <laughs> That's cool. That's stopping. You're going to be seven ahead. No, it's not now. seven. Am I seven ahead? You will be probably because I think this is bo. Yeah, this is bogey. Oh, okay. You you predicted ten, so yeah, I said around ten. Have, <laughs> I'm going to hit the fight now. Uh, like I said, uh, I would have failed this on the greens. Yeah, the, the greens are horrible. <laughs> It's it's not because of the movement. It's because of the way it slants. It, oh yeah. Because as far as I'm, the way I've always been taught to do to do things like this in this game is is to reward your player if they can get it onto the green. Because even if you get this onto the green, it's still there's a chance that you'll come off it. Let me just see if. It, it, He's put out of bounds. There's a strange way of putting out of bounds. He's put that on the rocks. Obviously, he's had some, um, when he's play tested this, he's ended up in the rocks. And uh, as you know, the rocks can give you funny effects. Right, what's this going? It's okay. Going to join mine. Oop, almost, it's going to go past mine. Yep. Going about five, six yards ahead of me. Right. This this is a split fairway. Where is this going? Let's dial this back a bit. That's perfect. Well, that's too, even that is too much. Uh. So dial that back a lot more. Man, and once again, he has this elevation on here. Yep. I just do not like that. I think all in all, his, I mean, his place is between thing. clubs again. Yeah. It's one of the, I think it's one of the, oh, that's horrible. Yeah. One of the things I would say about this is the elevation changes are quite extreme in his, and especially his yeah, like green. Watch, yeah. Watch the green, that will, that will roll off. See that, yeah, that, and this got passed again. For TGC. TGC tours, imagine that. Exactly. Because even if the pins are in other positions, these greens are horrible. They're very extreme greens. Oh my gosh! Look at that. There's loads. Someone of must have there. played just the first hole on this one and, and approved it. The third one. That. Look at that speed. That's gone. Oh, you're so lucky that didn't go all the way down. Yeah. I was hoping it would hit the post, the, the flag. Oh. Way too much. That's way too much. Turn off the other side. Yeah, I'm, like I said, when I play courses like this, when I know they're 
unfair, you know, mm. it, it just like, it just, I don't know, it's frustrating for me. Because yeah. with my ones, at least, I know my ones can be a bit tricky, but what I try and do is flatten the, the area around the pin itself. So to give the person a, a, a bit of a chance. Because even here, there's, there's movements by the pin. No, that didn't move. Ugh, it's frustrating. So do you have the rest of the... Um, are you going to work, did you say, tomorrow and uh, Tuesday? Are you at work? Right, 16th. Okay, got to go over a little, some water. Right. Are you at work Monday and Tuesday, tomorrow? Uh, I am off almost every Monday unless the schedule changes. Right. So... And, and you work Sunday is an easy day for me, so it's kind of like having a day and a half off. Okay. But I have to work six days. A lot of people just work five days and get off two, but I work six days. Right. But I have a shorter shift. Oh, that's okay. Uh, my shift is uh, a max of six hours. That's good. So you're working Tuesday as well, then, on the 23rd? Yes. You are. And when do you go back to work? After the Christmas holiday. Oh, I only get Christmas Day off. Oh, yeah. do you? Isn't it? So Boxing Day yeah. you're working? Yeah, I don't. No, I, I have to do inventory for companies that are open the next day. Oh, okay. So. And what about the New Year? Are you working through the New Year as well? Or have you got the yep. day off? I have New Year's Day off and that's it. Oh, okay. Because here we have like a bank holiday Monday if, if the... Um, after the Christmas oh. and after the New Year as well. So we always, we get quite a lot of holidays actually. Yeah, this course looked good on the thumbnail, but man, yeah, I just, I mean, I do not like this course. The planting is nice and everything. I do, I do like his oh, planting yeah. and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But his greens are, I mean, I'm sorry. I just think they're horrible. Hmm. When you have elevation like that, that punishes you. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. So even that is, that's going to go off. What have we got here? The 16th. Finger in the air. That's because he made par. Oh, wow, barely made that one. Is you there? I think we're both in agreement that if his greens should have been better, this would have made it a better course, actually. Yep. I mean, there's nothing, his planting and everything is fine. It's really good. Right, it's a long putt. Okay, a par three. Four 
horrible. Mm. See, to but again, like as go ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say to me, a a par three should be reachable with irons. And this is something I'm trying to work on myself because a lot of par threes that I have here in England that I play on are all reachable with. Oh, look at that! Oh. Are all reachable with irons. And you're having to use hybrids and stuff to and woods to get to the to it. Is that going? Look at that. Oh, look <laughs> at you. See, I can't uh, catch a break, you know. Mine would have went in, but it hit the flag, you know. Yep, it bounced. I've done that before where I putted, I did a long putt and it hit, and it should have gone in, but it hit the flag and bounced straight out again. So I've had that happen a I couple of times. I just didn't want you to beat me by 10 strokes, that's all. Yeah, well, I am I'm, I'm at that point now. You are. And it's somewhere but of course, on the, there's water. So we're on the 18th. Now, this yep. is reachable so with I a could... driver. I'm going to go for it. What have I got to lose? Right, let's see if I can reach the... Oh, straight, stay straight. Bounce, do a bounce, boink. Stop. That's all right. <laughs> as long as can... I don't get in the water, I should be okay. Yeah, you can go for it. You can go for the, for the driver. Don't hit it slow or fast. Oh, oh where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to bounce into the water. You're going to go in the water. Oops, you're in the water. Are you serious? What happened there? This game just... This game is just really... This course. Now, now, see, now it just sits. Yeah. I can't get a roll when I need one. So you will beat me by 10 strokes. Well, I'll see what happens here, because this is, this is, let me just check. Will that go in? Go yep. in, go. Ah! Oh! How can you, look at that, right on the lip. Yeah, but you're still... I got to make this, or otherwise you do beat me by 10 strokes. And this is not going in. We we'll won't see. This is for par. No, that's nope. missed. Yeah, see, it just. That's turned right at the very last second. So, congratulations. You predicted ten. that you would win by 10, and you did. Well, it hasn't gone in yet. Miss, well, miss listen to you. It hasn't gone in yet. <laughs> you and your UK smart ass. <laughs> it hasn't gone in yet. Well, I don't. You, you never know because sometimes you might hit the flag and it'll bounce straight out. You can oh, never. Yeah. Put, you yeah. can never uh, assume anything until the very final one. But there you go. That was a good. That's a good game. Well, congratulations on a just a wonderful course, except for the greens. The which greens are the most important it. part of the course. Yeah, the greens spoilt it for me. Yep, so... Because you'd expect, again, if you land on them, to stay on the green. But The wonderful t people at TGC Tours, I want to applaud for approving this course. Yeah, wait. I'll, I'll clap. Listen to me clapping. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness me. All right. All right. That's, so uh, you have a good uh, Christmas, and I'll talk to you uh, yeah, later on, okay? Take soon. You take care. Bye-bye. Okay.